Hi everyone. How are you? Enjoying life? You should be, isn't it? Well, today I'm talking about one of the personality traits being an introvert. Now this is very close to my heart because I am an introvert. This is what even my disc profile calls me. Yeah, I'm an introvert. And why am I talking about it today? Because I'm, I remember last year, same time in July 2021, I was visiting Mumbai uh, and on one of the Sunday evening, we decided to get together at my friend's house. His name is Sachu. And we are, we are very close friend for a, for a long time now. And we used to always talk about different things. So this evening, when we were at his place, we were talking about coaching and my experiences about coaching. And the way it happened, my friend Sachu, he made a statement. He said, Vinay, I don't believe or I'm re really surprised that you decided to be a coach because I know you as a very introvert person and coaching needs to talk to people. You know, you need to go out and talk to people and he is, he is very much an extrovert person. So he said, I can see myself being a coach, talking to people, but being an introvert for you, I never really thought that you would go in that direction. And I said, you are right, I'm an introvert and that's my strength. As an introvert, actually, I'm a very good listener. I can listen to what people are telling me. I can observe how they are telling me because there is no urge for me to just jump in and talk, but I can just be myself, listen to them, observe what they are saying, how they are saying it, process it, and then reflect it back to them with a powerful question. And that's what coaching is. So in fact, being an introvert is my strength in this profession. Now, while coming back home, it kept playing on in my mind and I was reminded or I kind of remembered so many instances during my entire corporate life or in fact, a lot of time I was told or I've, I kind of got that feedback from a lot of people that, hey, you need to speak more because if you really want to be in a corporate life, you need to be an, a little bit more extrovert. And that time again, there is, there is another instance which kind of uh, came to my mind and it happened around 15, 16 years ago when I was working in one of the multinational companies uh, as a part of leadership team, I was in a two day you know, strategy meet outside of office. And obviously all this feedback was, you know, kind of playing at the back of my mind that, okay, my boss or maybe some other people might be observing me so i need to speak more so when the when the strategy meet started probably that was still still uh, playing back in my mind however as the day progressed pro naturally i was more comfortable being myself and i did not realize that but end of the day the facilitator who was who happened to be a coach as well so she came and gave me a feedback saying Vinay you know what during those three times when you spoke you made a very valid point and your observation was spot on which actually put the group or gave the group a different perspective and made them think about their assumptions and that was so comforting because I could be myself, but also gave me the confidence that I'm actually contributing to the group, being myself. So one thing which I realized, these personality traits are who I am and I don't need to label it whether it's good or bad because given a circumstance, it can be my strength or maybe sometimes it might be my weakness, but it's very much subjective. And 
I need to be aware of how I'm playing with my with my personality traits or which whether I call it a strength or weakness, but how am I using it? And I want you to think about it. How are you using? How much are you aware about yourself? And how are you using it? Are you leveraging it? Are you using it to your benefit? Or sometimes you might be overusing it and that might derail you. So be aware of, think about it. And if you need help, get in touch with me. Take care, love yourself and bye for now. Bye.